Hey, Jobin, you were at an active shooter training class in Plano. Close to 800 people showed up. Yeah, and we had a chance to talk to some of those 800 people. Some of them are here because of that El Paso shooting. Some are here uh, for their own children. Some are here from, some, from other shootings. They all got this little small card. This is from the Plano Police Department, and this is essentially how to respond to an active shooter. There are some valuable lessons tonight. Tammy Combs could easily have chosen to stay at home with her husband. It's probably about 35 miles from my house one way to come, but yes, I felt it was important to be here. Thank you, you Instead, she's at an active threat seminar with 750 complete strangers. Uh, probably watching TV. <laughs> Sean Wallace actually teaches security and he's here. He never stopped being a student. This active threat training put on by Plano police is surprisingly not the largest seminar they've held. These people have got to act. Micah Lunt is a lieutenant with Homeland Security at Plano Police. He wants people to know their surroundings. You've got to look around and have that plan B exit strategy. And in an active threat, run, hide, and fight the right way. So I'm going to reach out and grab a hold of the gun like this. Okay. And then I'm going to bring the gun in as close to my body as I can because I'm stronger in this position than I am in the other position. And then I'm going to take a step back with my foot and use my body as a lever to rip the gun away from you. And in a shooting involving an AR type weapon, listening to the sound of a magazine dropping and needs here. reloading <laughs> could give you the precious seconds to do all three. And I'm back in business. This is all about saving a life, your own, someone else, applying a tourniquet and controlling bleeding, all tips being taught in this room to a very large and interested group. I think it's indicative of, of the times in which we live. Um, you know, people are worried. Because as we've all learned, no one is immune from an active threat. There's just been so much going on. And no one here would rather be anywhere else. In Plano, I'm Joe Panic. Well, that's right, Jobin. This is a lot of valuable information. You can find it online at team-plano.org. And one of the takeaways for me, actually, mm. was what you were supposed to do when police arrive at an active shooter mm. situation. Uh, number one, first and foremost, make sure that your hands are visible at all times. Wow, what a time we're living in.